Hi everyone, welcome back to today's review. So in today's review, I'm reviewing a brand I've not even tried before. It's a new brand to the skincare industry and it's literally took us all by storm with the super affordable prices. Apparently the products are amazing. So it is the Inky List and it is their vitamin C and it's their 15% uh, vitamin C plus is it yeah, EGF and it says helps intensely brighten. So the Inky List is a fairly new brand to the industry. It reminds me a little bit along the lines of like the Ordinary with the affordable prices, the packaging, it is very similar. But I've not tried anything from the range and I picked the hyaluronic acid up um, before I picked this up. But I was desperately in need of a new vitamin C and I was like, I need, a, I need a vitamin C. It was between like Sunday Riley, Drunk Elephant. And then I seen Sally Hughes talking about this and this was like £15. So I thought for the sake of £15, I'm going to try it, see if I like it. If I don't like it, I've still got vouchers to use in Harvey Nicks or probably will get a vitamin C or whatever I decide to do. But yeah, so straight away, I, I've got to be completely honest, I didn't love it at first, like to the point where I really didn't like it. And I was like, this is just not working for my skin. I found it pills a lot. If anyone doesn't know what pilling is, it's basically when you put your products on your skin and it can either be due to the products haven't absorbed. If you're layering products especially, if you've not, if the products have not absorbed, then it literally is just like a hot mess sitting on top of your skin and then it eventually pills and it's like little, when you go like this on your face, it's like little bits of, like little balls, it's vile anyway. But it can be from a number of things. It can be if, say, for instance, if your skin's a little bit clogged or you've not exfoliated properly and you've got a lot of dead skin builds up, it can be due to that. It can be due to layering your products if you're not layering them, in, like, in what order. Say you have, like, a, a, a silicone product and then, like, a moisturiser. You've just got to be careful in terms of how you layer your products. And that's why you'd always go from thickest to thinnest. But also, as well, you don't want... You wouldn't put, like... You wouldn't want a moisturiser on first and then a serum because the moisturiser is thicker so if you put a moisturiser on first you're sort of putting a blanket over your skin and then your serum would not be able to activate it wouldn't be able to penetrate as much because there's a moisturiser over the top of it and the moisturiser will it's made up of a larger molecules so it won't basically you just need to put your serum on first so your serum can penetrate because it's thinner and then your moisturiser and it's the same with layering any types of serum so with the vitamin C also as well, I always, always done hyaluronic acid than vitamin C. A lot of people do vitamin C first. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to start giving it a go. I'm going to give it a go and see if I notice any difference in terms. So what I will mention, I got the hyaluronic acid as I've mentioned. But I'll talk about that in another video because I wanted to mainly be about the vitamin C today. And I layered the two of them and again, they pilled on my skin, the two products together. And I gave them time to um, soak in and everything and I was like... But I made the mistake of not putting a moisturiser on because I was literally just doing my skin. I was in work, so I was like back and forth. I was so, I was so busy and I forgot. I'd cleansed and toned my skin, put these two on and then just forgot to put a moisturiser on because I was got sidetracked and I was only in the flat anyway. So I um, so I was sat like working and I had to feel my skin so tight. And with the hyaluronic acid, if you put this on first, you then need to put something over it just because the hyaluronic acid can then retract moisture from our skin, which is what we don't want, which would then dry you out, if that makes sense. So the only thing I had to say to do is when you are using like a hyaluronic acid, always put something over it. Don't just finish your skin with the hyaluronic acid. Always put a moisturiser over it so that it seals everything in. And then what will happen is the hyaluronic acid will attract moisture from the moisturiser rather than your skin so yeah that's what i done the other day i tried these two forgot was in a whirlwind and then about an hour later i was like no it was later than that and i was like whoa why is my skin like uh, my skin was like that like literally so tight i was like what the hell have I got, what, what have i done today and i realized it's how you're layering your products obviously you've got to i realized i can put a moisturizer on but that was just a little tip in terms of layering but yeah back to the actual vitamin c as i say I've got to be completely honest, I wasn't a huge fan in terms of how it was layering. I started then trying other ways and it just, it still pill on my skin and I was like, what the hell is going on? So then I started to like press and pat it into my skin rather than rubbing it. I find when you press and pat it into your skin, you get a better payoff because I feel like you just push it into your skin, into your pores, it'll penetrate more too. So yeah, at first I didn't like it, but now I've obviously, I've bears with it and I do actually really do like it. I've been, um... I've been using it with, with two certain moisturisers. These are the two moisturisers that I like it best with. Mainly this one from Crystal Clear. It's just a little sample size. If that'll focus. 
and it's from Crystal Clear and it's the Skin Repair Moisturiser and I like to use that once I've done all my serums and everything I then like to use that and that just locks everything into place. It's such a fabulous moisturiser and that'll be my favourite for this month. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you the consistency anyway of the serum. It is very serum like gel like, lightweight, co uh, colourless as well so I'll just quickly show you. So you can see straight away, oh it's run right down my hands. But you can see straight away how runny it is but honestly at first i'll say i did not like it no smell to it either sorry if this light's a little bit bright it doesn't sometimes doesn't always pick it up but yeah so what i would do with that i would put it put it on first this is where i was going wrong as well also not that i was going wrong but it may to me it was like it makes sense to put highlighter on cast on first and it was working for me but of course i will try it i'll switch it around so yeah i mean if it works for you you put highlighter on cast on first and if that, if that works for you fair enough but lately as i say i've been doing the vitamin c first and then the hyaluronic acid in terms of vitamin c vitamin c is great for overall brightening the skin exfoliating the skin if you suffer with like scarring and anything like that vitamin c can be really great to lift scarring as well and like make the skin appear brighter so yeah i would definitely recommend i would say definitely everyone needs a vitamin c and with this type of vitamin c it's not it's not harsh or anything like that you can go down the route of l ascorbic acid which is a vitamin c which is a lot more potent and a lot more powerful i used it the other day for the first time in months and i was laying in bed going i want to think my face has fallen off <laughs> i was going why does my face feel like this and i'd forgot i'd used it in the day i hadn't used it for ages you'd have to then build up a tolerance for it as well but yeah no i've got to be honest as i'm using it i am going to like it more and more as i say it's not something where you wake up in the morning and go right i look amazing balls all like j-lo do you know what i mean it is something that You've got to keep building up and just keep using it day to day. Make it part of your routine as you would with your cleanser. I would say top five products you need in your routine. Definitely a cleanser, million percent. SPF, million percent. Then I would say a vitamin C, hyaluronic acid and some form of acid. Whether that be a glycolic, a retinol, whatever it may be. Oh no, moisturiser though. Anyway, you get the gist anyway. But I would just always say to... I was always recommended to have a vitamin C and as I say with this it is really gentle like there's no sting there's nothing it's literally just like a serum but don't leave it on its own you've got to then put stuff over it as well you couldn't just leave that on your skin you'd have to put then a moisturiser over it because I found out the hard way and I literally tried it on me on its own as well and it just drawn out every little bit of moisture think about it if that's got nothing to adhere to it will then draw moisture from your skin so always whether it just be a light moisturiser as I say something like crystal clear or use Bioderma the Hydrabio gel which is another gorgeous moisturiser. I just like gel like moisturisers. But yeah, so far I've got, I am obviously going to keep going with it and still using it. As I say, it's not something where you're going to see a great deal of difference, but it'll pay off over time. So always, it's always good to have in your routine. A vitamin C is amazing. It's brightening. I mean, you do suffer with hyperpigmentation as well. A vitamin C can be great. Also, if you do suffer with hyperpigmentation, you could look at, you could look at the likes of azelaic acid as well, which would light and scarring and things like that so it's always good to know and it's always good to have in your routine but yeah i i won't be i'm not gonna say i'm a die hard fan i'm not gonna say that i'm gonna say i do like it i will carry on using it but i do still want to get i want to get an oil form of a vitamin c so like sunday riley ceo or i didn't know whether to get the c famer from drunk, drunk elephants they me too like they're more luxurious this is more like obviously affordable drugstore that cat that that kind of price bracket but then obviously you've got the likes of your Dennis Gross, your uh, Drunk Elephants, Zellens, all those big luxurious brands as well still do amazing vitamin C's so if you can recommend any uh, vitamin C's let me know as I say I'm torn between I think I'm going to go for Seago from Sunday Riley because I do love Sunday Riley but I've never tried Drunk Elephant before can you believe it I've never ever tried Drunk Elephant so I'm like I need to try Drunk Elephant so I think I'll either go between them two but in the meantime um, I will still use this I'm going to try and use it every day um, some days I just forget I've got it like I just I'll be sidetracked I, my mind just wanders so I haven't I'll be completely honest I haven't used it every day but I've left, I keep leaving it on my side here just so I know I'm wanting to use it. Okay, with the Inky list in general, I've got to be honest, I am really intrigued to see the brand and to see what other products they've brought out. I definitely, definitely want to try the Oak Cleanser, but it's completely sold out everywhere. It's only like a tenner as well. Always sold out. And then I've got the hyaluronic acids from the Inky list as well, which I do really like, actually, really, really like. A lot of people message me, it was a fiver. This is £15. This was a fiver, literally, and... I preferred this over the ordinaries 
um, hyaluronic acids. I love their marine hyaluronics, but their actual hyaluronic acids, I prefer the inky list. I'll just quickly show you what it's like. Oh, right, okay, so I'll put it over this, what we've just put this on. So just a few drops, hyaluronic acid is super amazing. And you can see the consistency, it's so runny. And then all I like to do, you can either like, I like to do this, press and pat it into your skin. This, imagine this was your face. I just like to press and pat it and it just feels nicer as well, I think. Okay, you're not, you're not gonna see too much of a difference. But I do like the two in conjunction together and as well, because they're from the same brand as well. I think that's even good too. But yeah, so far, do like the products, especially the hyaluronic acid. Um, let me know if you've tried anything from the brands in terms of like, I know they do the niacinamide. I think they've got a niacinamide out. They basically got a whole range out that's just all of a sudden blew up, took us all by storm. We're all like this, ugh, the inky list. But I definitely need the oat cleanser. Let me know if anyone's got it. It is a balm cleanser. But I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. Have a fabulous day. Hope you're enjoying lockdown. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.